It has two properties, stage name and definition URI. The definition URI is pointing to my swagger.yml file. Consider this. You want to deploy a REST API that integrates with Lambda using a Swagger definition file to AWS. Can you do this in a few steps using AWS SAM and Cloud9 IDE? Let's find out. Let's start by navigating to the Cloud9 service, click on Create Environment, and give it a name. Let's leave all the other settings to their default values, hit Create, then click on Open Cloud9 IDE. Right-click on the parent folder and create a new folder called SAM. Inside SAM, I'm going to create two more folders, My Lambda and My API. Next, let's drag and drop our lambda underscore function dot py file, which returns a status code of 200 and a body of hello from Lambda. I'm going to save this file under the my Lambda folder, then bring in my swagger.yml file. If you look at the line 21 of my swagger file, you'll notice that I'm defining the URI, which has the AWS region, account number, and the name of my Lambda function, which is my swagger test. Let's save our swagger definition file under the my API folder, then bring in our template.yml file. Here on line four, I'm defining a resource called my same API, which is of the type AWS serverless API. It has two properties, stage name and definition URI. The definition URI is pointing to my swagger.yml file. On line nine, I'm specifying another resource called MySAM Lambda, which is of the type AWS serverless function. It has several properties such as handler, runtime, code URI, and a memory size of 128 MB. I'm also specifying a function name of MySwagger test, which is the same name we defined in our Swagger file. On line 18, I'm creating an event which is of the type API, and it has properties such as path, method, and REST API ID. Note the REST API ID is referring to the MySAM API resource, which was defined on line four. Let's save our template.yml file under the same folder, then navigate to the bash terminal. Here, I'm going to run the cd or change directory command to go inside the SAM folder, then run the ls or list command to confirm that I see my template.yml file. Let's validate our template file by running the SAM validate command. Looks like our file is valid. If there were any errors, this is where it would show up. Next, let's run the SAM package command with the hyphen hyphen output dash template dash file option. I'm also going to specify an S3 bucket where an archive version of our Lambda function and the API can get uploaded. Looks like our SAM package command was successful. You can confirm this by opening the output template file and verifying that the definition URI and the code URI are both pointing to the S3 bucket. Next, let's copy paste the same deploy command and give our stack a name. I'm also going to specify the capabilities option with a value of capability underscore IAM so that CloudFormation has permissions to create basic IAM roles. Give it a few minutes for the same deploy process to complete. You can also monitor the progress by heading to the cloud formation service. Looks like our stack was successfully created. To confirm this, let's head back to the cloud formation window, then navigate to the resources tab. Click on the physical ID of my same API, then go inside the get method. Confirm that the API is integrated with the my swagger test Lambda function, 
then hit the test button. Click on test again and confirm that you see hello from Lambda in the response body. Finally, if you wanted to delete your stack and all its resources, go back to the CloudFormation window, then hit delete. There you have it. But before you go, here's a question for you. Why do developers love using the Cloud9 IDE during thunderstorms?